What's up, homegrown filmmakers? This week I am learning a ton about being a costume designer and I'll be vlogging the entire process. So come along with me and we're gonna learn a ton together. So yeah, I'm going to be a costume designer. My friend Caleb wrote and he is directing a very adorable short film. It's kind of quirky. So I volunteered to be the costume designer for him. I purposely picked a job that I've never done before and I actually don't have very much experience with because I need to get better with art department as a director. I, when I'm directing, I really don't feel like I have a lot of taste or a lot of opinions when it comes to art department. I'm very much a, I don't know, give me options and I'll kind of pick one when dealing with costumes, sets, props colors, styles, textures, anything like that. I really am not opinionated and I'm really not very educated. So I purposely picked something that was a little bit out of my comfort zone to work on with this short film. I'm going full blast with the costume designing on this project. I'm going to be doing a ton of research and a ton of making myself have opinions about things because that's really what I need to practice. So I took a little bit of time and did some research on being a costume designer and the first thing that people recommend that you do is just to read the script a lot of times, like seven times in a row to get the characters and the story in your mind and just get really, really familiar with it. I haven't gotten any direction from Caleb, the director yet, so this is just me pulling stuff out of thin air. Let's get to it. Some questions that I wrote down to Caleb when I get a chance to meet with him and now I'm going to research a little bit about how you do a costume breakdown or exactly what that might look like because I'm not exactly sure but I am feeling the need to do a breakdown to figure out how many characters there are how many costumes per character and exactly what needs to go into these costumes based on the script Okay, so after doing a little bit of research, I just started kind of doing a breakdown to help wrap my head around the logistical side of things. So what I have here is just kind of, I made a Google Doc and I just started listing out stuff. This is all the characters and then I have the number of costumes they're going to need and then the scenes that they're in. And then once we get the actor contact info and stuff, that's going to go in there and also sizes because I'm going to need those as well. I figure this is a pretty good start. I don't have a lot of information to work with yet, but I will be meeting with Caleb tomorrow. So I'm going to get a whole download and have a way more of a good place to start after that. So I made this and I'm just going to kind of go on Pinterest and start thinking about colors and colors related to characters and just get an idea of what I'm going to do for each character. So at my meeting with Caleb, I got some more specific direction, what he was wanting and what I should be looking out for. And I also got my budget for the film, which is $300, which I think I'm still kind of writing out how many costumes that I'm going to need to find and buy, but it's, I think it's somewhere around 10 costumes. So $300 will be a little tight, but I think we'll be able to do it. So the next step is to contact the actors as Caleb is locking them to uh, get their sizes so that I can go and buy the correct size of a uh, wardrobe for them. And I'm also just writing out basically shopping lists for every single character, what I'm gonna need to buy, what people already have, uh, just getting the plan and the ideas down on paper and not just in my head. <laughs> 
So right now I am getting ready to head out to go shopping. I'm going to go pick up Lizzie so we can do some shopping together. And I just printed out my list. So I've been working for the past week or so as Caleb is locking actors and sending me their contact info. I've been contacting them and getting their sizes all ready to go. Today is my major shopping day. So I have all of those ready to go for reference. And then I put together a shopping list of everything that I need to find today. And so, yes, it's quite extensive. So Lizzie and I just got here to the first thrift store of today. Uh, we're gonna go in and see what we can find. show you guys kind of what the result of the haul from yesterday was I kind of just like put everything in my closet here <clears throat> so these are the main costumes that uh, we picked out we got a dress that sort of thing I have And then here, these are just a bunch of extra office shirts that I got from Lizzie, just in case we need them. And this was actually one of the pieces that I was most, oh my goodness. And then this dress is one of uh, the pieces that I was most excited to find uh, while thrifting yesterday because I didn't think we'd be able to find anything close to the right color or the right style in the right size. So yeah, that's gonna be a staple piece. So I was doing that breakdown with all of the actors and all the different pieces of their wardrobe and I finished that and put it all into my binder here and I'm going to show you that. So this is my binder, it's got my name on it and all that jazz, I have call sheets for the day, here's my notes for the scheduling and then all of my sizes and then these are just breakdown sheets the rest of this is breakdown sheets but it's basically here's the scene here's where it is here's what's happening and then here's the characters that are in the scene so this is just a breakdown of every single element that is part of the costume and who is bringing it so the actor is bringing some of his own stuff and i need to make sure and get that back to him and then here's scene two and scene three and on and on it goes through all the scenes. So right now, I know pretty much what's going on with the schedule and I have a good idea of the scenes and all of that, but I have this breakdown so that if anything gets changed last minute, we decide to be doing something completely different than we planned, which you never know exactly what's gonna happen on a film set. What can go wrong will go wrong. So I have quick reference here. Okay, wait, we're not doing those scenes anymore. We're doing scenes five and six and 11 instead of the other scenes that we were gonna do. I can just look those up quickly, figure out what costume pieces I need, who I need to talk to, all that sort of stuff. I don't have to rethink through everything. It's all right here in the binder. I just have to look it up. It, it saves you a ton of time on set and it also helps with continuity. So I am off to get the last of my shopping done. I need to hit Target to pick up a couple things and then I need to go to Joanne Fabric to get some like emergency supplies like safety pins and like needle and thread like what happens if a costume breaks on set? My emergency fixer supplies, that sort of thing. I am not normally the customer, so I don't have those things on hand. I need to go buy them. Tomorrow is the first day of production, and I still haven't found one of the key pieces for one of the characters. I'm still
still looking for a pair of plaid dress pants. I didn't find anything at any of the thrift stores, so I'm gonna take a look at Target and I, I have no idea if they're gonna have anything like that. I kind of doubt it. All different kinds of safety pins. But I'm looking at this. This looks really handy. Yeah, well, Target was a big fat no, and absolutely nothing in there that's useful. So I'm gonna go up to the mall. There's like a JCPenney's and a Kohl's and all sorts of good stores, and so that's where I'm gonna look next. Success at uh, JCPenney's, so I gotta shoot home real quick and I'll do some more shopping tonight. But for now, that's pretty much everything. I still need to find one more pair of pants and a tie. I think that's it though. So I got back from shopping this evening. I went to a couple different thrift stores and oh my goodness, the weather is crazy. It was pouring down rain and thunder and lightning and it was pretty crazy to drive through. But I'm back now and I'm, I'll show you what I got at the thrift store. I found a tie that'll work. And also what I got at JCPenney earlier, I didn't get a chance to show you earlier. So what I got at JCPenney is these two identical light blue shirts. I found this tie this evening at a thrift store. I think it was Goodwill. Um, but it's just a much darker blue which contrasts nicely and it just the whole look is very clean Which is what I'm going for for this character The reason I needed to get two identical shirts and therefore couldn't buy this stuff at a thrift store Is that during the course of the story his shirt gets a stain on it? But which I already put on there with a red pen, but since we're shooting all out of order I need both shirts not just shoot the one shirt and put the stain on it. So that's why I have two identical shirts and I'm very happy with how the tie looks with them. I wasn't sure how it was going to go, but that looks really very clean, which is what I wanted. So tomorrow's shoot day and what I have to do for the rest of tonight is I need to pack everything that I need for tomorrow. I need to pack a tub with my steamer, my iron, things like that. And also pack a tool bag with the things that I bought earlier today, my safety pins, uh, find a sewing kit. I know I have one packed away somewhere. I also need to research how to tie ties because I don't know how to do that. I actually have to tie both a bow tie and a necktie so I need to research how to do both of those. Pack my car up, then get to sleep because it's going to be a rather early morning. Right now, I have enough footage to edit an entire episode, I'm pretty sure, so you will be seeing the shoot and the rest of this vlogging, doing the costuming thing at a later date. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will see you next week. Bye!